first time that Zambia recorded a cholera outbreak in the history is in 1977 in, in Mpulungu. That was the first time that Zambia recorded an outbreak. And since then, um, up to 2019, we've had about 30 cholera outbreaks of varying magnitude. The latest uh, major outbreak that we had was in 2017-2018. Um, this cholera outbreak started in October in an area called Maziopa in Lusaka and then it spread to all the parts of Lusaka and also affected almost seven provinces. During this cholera outbreak we recorded uh, a total of 5,935 cases out of which 114 uh, cases died. Now, if uh, you remember very well, in 2017-2018, that cholera outbreak which we had was going to be one of the worst outbreaks that Zambia was going to experience. Uh, but the reason why uh, we only man uh, ended up having these number of cases that I've mentioned is that uh, there have been a lot of measures that have been put in place to try and control the outbreak of cholera. The major one is uh, the establishment of the Zambia National Public Health Institute as a technical arm of the Ministry of Health, which tends to lead uh, in disease prevention and epidemic preparedness. Zambia is one of the pioneers and the first country in the whole world to have sponsored a resolution at the World Health Assembly to end cholera. Um, the resolution was very well supported um, and our minister was actually in the forefront um, to ensure that we spearhead in the fight against the cholera. So in that uh, vision which was adopted at the World Health Assembly, um, uh, member states um, agreed that we should be able to eliminate cholera by 2013. But Zambia went a step further uh, to establish a legacy goal. And the legacy goal is to eliminate cholera by 2025. And to show that commitment, uh, our head of state and our minister of health guided us, directed us to develop a comprehensive plan, which we call the Mouth Sector Cholera Elimination Plan. We were the first country in the world to develop that plan. The other thing that you need to realize is that as a country, again, a milestone, Zambia was the first country to actually conduct what is referred to as a hotspot mapping. Now, hotspot, the definition of a hotspot, a hotspot, cholera hotspot, is a small area where the cholera burden is concentrated. So even when we are to do interventions, it becomes easier. The other thing that you need to realize is we have a very good surveillance system using what is called indicator-based surveillance system and uh, event-based surveillance system, as well as electronic uh, surveillance system. It's an early warning system so that we are able to pick any diarrhea cases that may be happening, we are able to pick that. So we've been able to do that. Under risk communication and community engagement, we've developed a comprehensive uh, communication strategy so that uh, everywhere where people are, it is very easy for us to use the community structures that exist. Even under WASH, we are, we are doing a lot of things under WASH, working with the Minister of Water Development, Sanitation and Environmental Protection. We are trying to improve the supply of water. You've seen a lot of uh, projects that are going on even within Lusaka to try and improve the water supply to the people because that's the ma major source uh, for, uh, for the spread of the infection. Then when we come to horocorera vaccine, I'm sure you are aware in 2018, we actually vaccinated people in Lusaka. So I must mention to you that as a country, again, we developed a comprehensive plan and budget to vaccinate all the hotspots in the country. And we actually, uh, our plan um, and budget is to receive about 5.7 million doses of the horocorera vaccine. And that has been approved by the Global Task Force on Cholera Control. Now, the vaccination tends to protect people at least for a certain period so that it gives you a chance for you to work on the main uh, drivers of the infection, which is the water and sanitation. So it gives you a period of about three years. You, re you remember we were vaccinated in Lusaka in 2018. 
And uh, because of that, you never heard of an outbreak of cholera in 2019. And we hope even in 2020, this is December, we shouldn't have an outbreak of cholera. But we are ready. We have teams on the ground to ensure that uh, we know what is happening. I know there have been reports of a few cases here, and, uh, a few diarrhea cases here and there. But on top of things, we've distributed chlorine in these areas with support from UNICEF, support from World Health Organization. This chlorine is very effective. We distributed in Kalikiliki, in all the six sub-districts of Lusaka, where we were recording high cases of diarrhea diseases. This is to ensure that we prevent any occurrences of waterborne diseases, in particular cholera. So we are actually on top of things, and we are actually ensuring that we know what is happening throughout the country. What I heard has been working with us on so many uh, fronts to try and fight cholera. It's very important that we work with them when it comes to issues of water and sanitation so that we can prevent this. By and large, everyone is actually involved in the fight. You are also part of the fight against cholera to ensure that we eliminate cholera by 2025. That is uh, our legacy goal as a country. We should not have cholera after 2025. To prevent yourself from cholera, always use a clean toilet. Wash your hands with soap after using the toilet. Cover and reheat your food. Keep your environment clean. Boil or chlorinate your drinking water. Avoid buying food from the streets. Kutuba. Cleanliness is life.